How do you rank the top 10 out of billions? And uh, bear in mind that Google is only giving you effectively seven spaces on page one of search results. The rest is a local pack, the rest are ads. Now seven has been generous. I'm saying that you'll probably get five places to rank on, on the first page of any search results. So if you rely on, on just having a website that's gonna rank organically, you're barking up the wrong tree. It's not gonna happen. Because you have to get ahead of everyone else in, in a, on the planet. How's that gonna happen? It's not. You know, you can move the same problem to social media. How am I going to rank organically on, and how am I going to be seen organically on Facebook? Again, how many, how many people are on Facebook? Billions. You know, billions, literally billions. You know, so how's Facebook going to show you this person's profile, this person's posts amongst all the other billions? It's impossible. This is a problem that this is the problem that I, I've seen for years, but other people don't want to mention. I'm saying that literally, you're never going to get seen by anyone. Mix the fact that the platforms want you to pay for ads to show you, right? You know, if if you just go organic, there's no interest in they have no interest in showing you because other people are paying for ads to get seen above you. Never mind those who would have got seen above you because they have better content than you, more relevant content, more useful content. You know, organic is generally dead. It's you know, it's a it's a failure of the internet, it's a failure of the technology. You know, they, they didn't think hard enough how they're going to work when they got billions of people on every platform. And that's where we are. The other day, I think a couple of. Um... Uh, days ago, actually, I was researching online, trying to find out how many people are on the internet now. And of course, as we are moving uh, out of 2022 to 2023, we are moving, I think, to 5 billion. If we are yeah. not clock uh, 5 billion people on the internet now, with me, internet actually become, I want to use the word again, a sort of a leveler, but we need to know what we are doing. Yes. Because everybody is on it now. Mm. So what are you going to do? You know, one thing I was actually like sort of worried about a couple of years ago, I was having people contacting me from different places. So people that were contacting me from Asia, either from Pakistan, from India, they would propose to do something for me in terms of maybe do marketing for me, mm. uh, for my product, or okay. supply me. But there was something contrary to that that I was also having. People were also reaching me from Africa, among Africans. But guess what they were telling me? that they will pray for me, they will connect me to their pastor, uh, do, we, do you need prayer, something like that. So what I'm actually getting at here is that they say internet, all of us are here, but what do we spend the time doing? Oh. Is it only people in the US that can benefit from the internet? Can people somewhere in Nuromi also benefit from internet? So that I'm sort of looking at it like a, like a kind of a big opportunity that we need to tap into. You're already there. You can't say you are not there. But what do you do on it? I don't know if you want to say anything there. You know, you, look, you are so right. You know, the, 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 you know you've know, you made my day because this, this, is, this is the point I'm trying to make to people. You know, wishing is not going to get you there. Wishing is not going to help you sell more. You know, and praying is not going to help you sell more either, by the way. It's just not. You can't pray your way to get seen by, on Google or on Facebook. It's not going to work. It's just not. And I'm not saying don't have faith. This, I, you, need, you, know, you need a different sort of faith, right? The faith you need is more about the mindset for success. You need faith in your products and services. You know, if, if believing in God helps you, okay, by all means, you know, if you want to pray, you do that. You just make sure that you're doing the right things and you have the you know, belief that your products and services can help other people. You know, you know, as someone who does podcasting, for example, you know that you're going to give people a voice. And every, you know, every podcast you do, people are going to watch it and they're going to learn something from it. You know, that's faith. That's, that's faith you need. And with that, you push your, your service more. You know, and there's many people who give a poor service. And there's a strange way, you know, where I think the, the universe knows when 
you're not ready when you're not doing what you say you do. You know, do, do you know there's, 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 there's certain groups of people that almost are guaranteed to fail online, almost guaranteed to fail, whatever you do. You know, and it's, it's a weird thing to say. It's a weird thing to say. When you are not ready to sell, the universe knows. And the universe will not bless you with what you need to make people feel silly or look stupid. If you're not ready to sell, you're not going to get seen. If you're not ready to sell, then your social media is not going to get engagement. It's a strange, you know, it's, a, it's, it's very weird. If, if you're bad minded, you're not going to get seen. Whereas now, when you are ready, you have to do the right things. I mentioned engaging, number one. If you, if you know, if the faith you want is that you believe in so much about what you're doing and how you can help people, because that's the essence of business, by the way. A lot of people miss that point. They want to sell, sell, sell. It's not about selling. It's about make, it's about helping people, whatever you provide, right? If you if you if you're genuinely minded about helping people, then you you communicate that with a lot more vibrancy, a lot more. Also, I'm looking for you know, the word I'm looking for, a lot more intent and intentionality, a lot more confidence. You push it more. You know, and then um, and what you do is that you push it in one place, you push it on Facebook, for example, it doesn't work. And because you are so determined, because you know that what you're what you're offering is a solution, you find another way to push it. Do I push it by email? Do I push it on Google? Are you with me? You find a way to push it out there. And then once you get to the, each platform, you then have to learn how it works to make sure the right people see your content or your product or your service. And that's a faith you need. You know, the, the praying thing, please. You know, don't, you know, someone's selling you prayer. Tell, just run, run the other way. Tell them to go the other way. Just tell them to go away. You know, I mean that sincerely. You know, you need science. You need faith. You need a mindset for success, and you need something that people need. With those things, you will you'll find a solution in the end. You know, the so last one, the so last one I'll say on this point is this. A lot of people say, oh, that didn't work, that didn't work. And I did Facebook, I did, it didn't work. I did Twitter, it didn't work. You know, it's not about the platforms working for you. In business, things work, but maybe not always the way you want. You know, one of the biggest lessons that people ignore to learn every day is what is not working? What's the wrong place to be? What's the wrong strategy? That is a platform working when you learn that lesson. Don't be on Facebook just posting organically. Facebook works because you learn that lesson. Don't send your emails to no one or to everyone. That's email working and teaching you a lesson. You know, if you're gonna run dumb ads on Google, to the, no, that's that are not done properly and have no decent landing page. Your lesson is make sure you have a seamless, you know, load of content from what you produce to how you market it to the landing page to the ad to your delivery process. These are lessons that we learn by doing. Many people never learn those lessons and they run the other way and say it didn't work. Everything works. It's what has it worked to teach you? How has it worked for you? You know, that's 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 a simple way of looking at it. Thank you so much, dear Emmy. Any, I really appreciate that. I, I really do. I, I believe, like you said, the universe is there, uh, ready to respond to you. But what are you asking for? Yeah. Like, like the guys that are calling me from Nigeria, telling me they want to pray for me, but I'm not interested. <laughs> You see, I'm not interested. I, I would rather give my money to the other guy who want to help me. I really, I have done that continuously because I have a couple of things that I'm doing. I have different blogs that I'm creating content for. Of course, I cannot do all of that myself. Mm. I cannot put prayer inside that blog, for example. How am I going to do it? I need somebody who is going to sit down and craft the content and send yeah. to me. Then I will pay the person. That is the exchange. That is the trade I'm ready to do with the universe. And I'm going to get results for it. Mm. If I fail, I will try again, again and again until I get the result because I know there is a result there. 
Exactly. No, that's exactly what I'm trying to. That's exactly you know. You you you've got me totally. You know, the person who creates, who decides they're going to shortcut the content creation process, for example, they will fail, and they wonder why they fail. And uh, and I say the universe just knows that it's not good content. It's not really help. It's not helping anyone. You know, and the universe will conspire against you. You know, whereas if you create great content that's useful. You know, the universe knows. It just, it just knows. You know, so I say universe. Some people say, you know, they, you know, they say God, but that's, that's that's up to them. You know, and I, I'm not going to say you know, I've learned not to bash Africans and Niger, especially Nigerians for being religious. You know, I think the sooner we can all accept personal responsibility and that what we do is, and it's mostly what we do and what we think. The better the results we'll achieve. Yeah, but if you feel better believing in God, okay, fine. You know, good on you.